Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Dream Egg white noise machine. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a Dream Egg white noise machine. And it has a total of 24 sounds consisting of 7 white noise sounds, 7 fan sounds and a variety of 10 other sounds. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by flipping out that box flap and lifting up the box lid and just taking a look directly in the box packaging. Now let's lift the contents out from the box. And I'm going to set the contents on the tabletop and then we can have a nice full view of all the contents and accessories from this product packaging. Okay, so trying to lift the Dream Egg white noise machine from its box packaging. So right there, it comes out from below and just setting the white noise machine on the tabletop and just checking through to make sure we've removed all the contents. So there is one last item left and that's a power cable. And now just closing the box back down and setting it on the right hand side of the frame and laying out the contents on the tabletop so we have a nice clear view of the Dream Egg white noise machines contents from its product packaging. So right there. Okay, so let's first start off by taking a look at this card. So there is a card here. Introducing their VIP club and an extra bonus of six months warranty. And of course, the joining details. So I'm going to Set the card on the left hand side of the frame and moving right along. There is a protect your dream egg six months warranty free card right there. Once again, a mention of the additional six months warranty and some instructions on how to get it. So I'm just going to set that card on the left hand side of the frame as well and moving right along. There is a user manual for the Dream Egg white noise machine. I'm just showing you the thickness of the user manual or instruction manual right there. And let's flip it open, take a look inside. So it's nice to see that there's so much mention of warranty to give you that assurance that the product does have customer support and backing. Okay, just slipping through. So there is a night light feature as well and a timer for the white noise machine and of course volume adjustment. And actually there is a headphone jack as well and memory function. So memory function will remember or recall your last sound setting, volume, timer, and night light settings. So you don't have to keep resetting or reconfiguring your white noise machine. Okay, so nice to see that it's warranty and customer support mentioned in here. And the next section is in Chinese. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's the user manual for the Dream Egg white noise machine, the D1 model. Okay, I'm going to set the user manual right down 
on the left hand side of the frame. Actually, I will set it on the right hand side of the frame instead, right there. Okay, and then moving right along, we have the charging cable or power cable for the white noise machine. And you can see that it does have a DC plug or pin plug to connect or insert into the white noise machine. And of course, a USB type A connector as well, which you plug into your power source. Okay, so that's the cable. And of course, it's always good to know the cable length, of course, just in case you want to keep your Dream Egg white noise machine with constant power. It's right there, giving you a look at the length of this cable. So a nice good length right there, showing you as much as I can with the constraints that I have with this tabletop and of course the angle of the lens, so right there of the camcorder. So nice and long cable right there. I'm just going to set it down on the left hand side of the frame. And then of course moving to the main item itself, which is the Dream Egg white noise machine. It's still packaged up right here. Let's lift the foam bag off and making sure nothing else is left in there set it to the side and you can see it does have a nice matte black finish I'm just going to set the white noise machine on the tabletop and you can hear that thunk as well so nice sturdy weight to it and feel so giving you a look right there it does have a flat conical tapering shape towards the top slightly tapered as you can see right there the base is wider than the top by just a fraction. And weight wise, as I mentioned, nice and chunky with a nice heft to it. And just setting it down right there, it does have anti slip or non slip feet or pads underneath. So you can see just tapping around, it's not going to slide and create any noise at all. So it will absorb any vibrations as well. So taking a look on the underside, you can see those four round or circular pads underneath, making up the feet of the white noise machine. Okay, and of course giving you some sense of scale right there and giving you better perspective resting the white noise machine in my palm right there so nice good size and I just love the weight of it it does really feel of quality and taking a look top down you can see there are a range of buttons and what appears to be some indicators as well, possibly for the timer, but always refer to the user manual, which we looked at previously, very briefly, of course. So 30, 60, 90 minutes, I believe. And then there is a night light indicator as well. And then followed by the buttons right round. The texture does feel really nice on this surface. It feels like silicone, or at least soft rubber and then we have the buttons which we'll press in just a moment but we still want to just take a closer up look at all the different aspects of this white noise machine consisting of 24 sounds so seven white noise sounds seven fan sounds and 10 other mixed variety of sounds so taking a look around and at the back you can see there is a headphone 3.5 millimeter jack or socket to output into a pair of earphones or headphones so that's a nice feature or interesting feature to see and of course the input socket there for the power cable which we saw earlier and you can see there is a hollowed out design underneath as well I think that's for acoustic 
reasons and giving you, or at least producing maximum sound in your environment right round. So you do have a 360 degree sound range. I'm just taking a look top down once again. And right there, the Dream Egg white noise machine. And of course, this translucent ring is where the night light would emanate from. And just giving you an idea of the material as well. So very solid plastic. You can hear just how chunky that is. And on the, on the side, slightly lighter plastic, but ABS nonetheless for durability while staying light as well. So okay, so we've taken a nice all-round look at the various aspects of this Dream Egg white noise machine. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see if we can do that. But of course, pressing on the power button. And of course, it's a press and hold. And it appears that it doesn't currently have any power supply to it. So let's plug in the DC plug into the back of the unit. So very simply plugging the DC plug right there and then plugging the type A USB end to an outlet. And now let's turn it on. And instantly we hear that nice nature foresty chirping noises from the birds. And the audio quality is quite nice and you can see that nice pale orange slightly incandescent colored nightlight glow around the edge or ring of the top of this Dream Egg white noise machine. So giving you a nice good look right there. And the audio quality is very clear and rich. So giving you a closer up look right there. You can see the 60 minute timer is lit and let's tap on that night light button just to see what else it does or what it does so it's interesting to see that there is a breathing mode or breathing effect right there as it softly dims and brightens so I'm gonna set the white noise machine down so you have a more realistic view right there. So it's so very relaxing and with that combination of night light does give you a rhythm to follow visually. Okay so now let's press on that that light button again and it's turned it off tapping on it again it does bring it up to that solid lighting and of course this one toggling into that breathing mode again okay pressing and holding let's see if that does anything but of course always refer to the user manual I'm just giving it a try anyway. 
see if there are any surprises there. And now let's turn the light back on and try that timer toggle so you can see the timer toggle does give us options of going through a 30 minute session, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, all completely fully on. Okay, and let's try the volume button. So right there, it's nice to hear that the increments, or at least the reduction, is very finely stepped. So you can tune to the desired audio level very, very finely, as you can hear. And pressing and holding, let's see if that raises the volume. Yep, it does that as well. And it does go quite high as well, and right there. That chime indicator letting us know that we've hit the limit. Pressing and holding. So right there, completely silent. Of course, wouldn't make much sense to have it completely quiet, but you can use it as a night light nonetheless. And that's the first level. So that's the lowest audio level or volume at the first step. But as you can hear, so many levels of adjustability with the volume. Now let's move on and try the other settings. So we've looked at the timer, volume down, volume up, and of course power. And you can hear that or see that instant resumption at the volume and light setting. Let's see if we just toggle to the breathing mode, turn it off and turn it back on. Does it resume with the breathing mode? And yes, it does. So it remembers or recalls and resumes at the last setting. It's nice to see that. And now let's try the different features or sounds. So fan sounds, variety of sounds there, and of course, white noise if those indicators are correctly labeled, or at least the buttons. So giving you a look at that, those buttons. So they're slightly recessed and nice and soft to touch. Okay, let's hit that fan button. So you can hear that whirring noise. Almost sounding like you're in a big, or at least engine room of a big ship. And there is a little bit of reverb as well. It's nice to hear that's how rich and powerful the speaker is in this white noise machine. Okay, let's hit that button again. Okay, so that chime there seems to have indicated to us that we've reached uh, back to where we started off. Okay, so those are the sounds for the different Bands. And now let's try that middle one. And we heard that when we first turned the white noise machine on, which is the forest 
but it's chirping sounds. And that sounds like the ocean, the sea, with rolling waves. And that sounds like a brook or stream with flowing water. And that's a nice pleasing lullaby. Another lullaby, but somewhat fairy tale like, or at least. And this is just crickets. At night, and you can hear. Or just about here, some other wild animals in the very distant sounds like faint barking. And that sounds like some crackling. Or burning wood, like what you might hear in a fireplace or campfire. And that sounds like rainfall, the pitter patter of rainfall. And this one sounds like an ultrasound machine. And this is some train noises. as if you're a passenger on a train. And there. It's nice to hear that indicator letting us know that we've come around full circle and back to that first noise. And let's go through the sounds once again. So that's actually a music box. I might have said that it was a lullaby, but it is a lullaby nonetheless. Or maybe this is the music box. Okay, so we've once again come around full circle. Now let's try that final selection of sounds, which is the white noise sounds.
And there we've come around full circle with the white noise sounds. So that's the first one. Second one. Third one. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. So seven white noise sounds, ten nature sounds or mixed variety of sounds, and seven fan sounds. And let's bring the volume up some more. So that's the Dream Egg White Noise Machine. Thanks for watching and happy listening!